Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, surprise, today we're actually going back to one of the original series on this channel, Westworld. We're going to continue with season two. Shout out to everybody in my Patreon helping me buy the episode so I can continue the series and find out what is going to happen with Dolores. Because we really ended off with her just kind of going um, a little Rambo on the crowd. So I'm really excited to see the consequences of all that and... I look forward to continuing the series with you all. So this will be season two, episode one. <gasps> oh, it's been so long since I've heard the intro. Oh, sorry, Dolores. I was lost in thought. You look tired. We Whoa. Were just You'd left me behind. The waters were rising around me. Hmm. Foreshadowing? What's it mean? What is real? That which is... Yes? This is... These are some real hard-hitting questions. I'm sorry, but it's interesting because I feel like for the human experience, um, what could be real for some... One person could be, um... Not real for another. Uh, because we all... Feelings are so individualized and so they change um, They change with whatever the perspective the person has and the past experiences so that's how they respond in a certain way and obviously we all, everybody is so unique and everyone has their own journey in life. So two people can look at one problem completely differently and maybe even in, in opposite views but it could be very real for both of them so that's very interesting i like that question like what is real i don't know dolores we need philosophers back answer doesn't seem to satisfy you because it's not completely honest yeah i'm frightened of what you might become hmm I, I believe in our Dolores, okay? I do. Oh, what's happening? So I hope you will. It's been some time, Bernard. Okay. You don't know who you are, do you? Is this now? Oh, chills, literal chills. Can you imagine just not knowing? You know how Dolores was just unsure what was happening to her, and now we're doing it with Bernie? I love this non-linear storytelling. It just makes it fun. Dillos Brass are gonna want to talk to you. They don't know what we know. Do they? How fucking long have we been out here? Let's go. Okay, so this is definitely more uh futuristic. Not futuristic, I guess more in the now. We're very immersed in the West world with a little bit of the outside world in season one. So it's fun to see season two more of the outside perspective now. Oh my god. Carl Strand, head of operations. More for me. Hi, Carl. All right. I wonder what's going through his head. Does he remember Dolores? Oh, that's where the man in black was. That's right. Oh, William. William. Oh, my God. That was the biggest plot twist of my life. Ugh. I forget how, how they make it so... I forget how the special effects look so real. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Oh. <coughs> they definitely have to have a mindset. 
The scientists definitely have to have a mindset that this is not a real person, I think, to be able to scalp them like that, just like nothing. Um, because if you, hum if you have human compassion towards them, I just don't think you can do these things willy-nilly. That makes sense. Um, the way he just tossed, the, tossed it afterwards, you know? I, I, I feel like... There's just the, the, a line drawn, and there's the people who view them as nothing but toys, and there's people that view him view them like people. I think that's interesting to see in how the characters interact with little little well, like this. Like for example, he had to perform something on him, and he did it quickly, um, just right there in the field. Uh, the interact with the world shows you which side the character's on. Eleven days and nine hours ago. Is that Dolores? I told you, friend. Not all of us deserve to make it to the valley beyond. Tell me this is some sick trick. Some twist in his game. They're off their old loops. Well, y'all did want to piss Cord off, Hord off, Ford off. I swear. Your management, are you? Where's mm. the nearest? Asset? What the fuck are we waiting for? Not gonna make it two miles. He's just a stable hand. He's harmless. It's a machine, like the rest of them. I'm not taking any chances. Jesus. Stop! Stop! Please! Stop! I think he was innocent. Uh, the liquid inside his brain. You want to be a hero? Don't sacrifice yourself for the merchandise. Merchandise. Hmm. Long change. Da, 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 da. I just think Dolores couldn't even pull the trigger before. Please. You're in my dream. Do you ever stop to wonder about your actions? Ooh. The price you'd have to pay if there was a reckoning. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Well, if it isn't the consequences of your actions. But now you're a prisoner to mine. Okay, I'm loving this Dolores. Ooh. She sounds, even her voice sounds more sure. The rancher's daughter looks to see the beauty in you. Oh, look at that. Possibilities. These violent delights. That violent end. <laughs> and I have one last role to play. Myself. I like that. It was just a game. We're begging. Can't you see? We're sorry. Only sorry because you got caught. Doesn't look like anything to me. Yep. What if, what if Ford made a version of himself and he's not really dead? I'm just saying, that would be cool too. Bill? How are you, Bill, let's be real. <laughs> How are you alive? Well, I guess that chapter's not done yet. No, <laughs> okay. Wait, is that Lazo? No. I wonder if Bill's gonna feel more like more alive since they can now fight back. Ooh. I feel like he's been waiting for this. I love the the look that they gave him just now with the blood on his face. 
Oh wow. Raise all goddamn motor functions! They remind me of my place in this world. I think you've got enough now, darling, don't you? You. Maeve, what side are, whose side are you gonna join? Don't work yourself up, darling. You? Did you do all this? No. I suspect I share the sensibilities of whoever did. Yeah, because you guys were cruel to them. Absolutely cruel. Uh, I don't know. If I was Maeve, I wouldn't trust him. If I was him, I wouldn't trust Maeve. Well, maybe I would actually because she just saved him and walked away. So Maeve is trusting. He's not trusting. A bear. Oh, a bear. What do I mean? Oh, I was like, oh yeah, a bear. Oh, but like. <laughs> Are you going to help me or not? I, I, I am. I am. I absolutely am. I could. I could this guy is so. Crypto, bro. <laughs> look, look, look. He's. It's just a story. Not real. Again, definition of real has to do with the perspective. And use them to decorate the walls with your outsized personality. Would that be real? Outsized personality, that's a good phrase to, to put on him. Well, I tell you, we're saved. The trick, the trick. Go on then. Run. Is she wearing like the <clears throat> the crown of Jesus? Your minds are worth billions in IP. They want to salvage what they can, and when that time comes, I can personally vouch for you. I can personally I can vouch for you. you. <laughs> Just like you saved me. May you rest in a deep and dreamless slumber. See, that's compassion. The fact that they have more compassion don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm, I'm, than I'm humans. Not. That says a lot. You're attacking guests. Good God. Might some of them even be dressed as if they're human? Oh my God, you see what I mean by not trusting him? I knew it! You had a chance to earn her trust and you blew it. Now everyone's dead. No, no. Find them. And she still saves him because he knows where her daughter is. But, but if I was him, I'd be thinking, okay, I take her to her daughter. But then, what's to guarantee she doesn't kill me? Then, I wonder where they filmed. It just looks gorgeous weather, you know, the sun shining. 